Becoming a mother was always a dream of mine. I was the eldest of many cousins and I would quite happily hold babies and feed bottles of milk. I had other dreams of course. I was going to be a teacher, a lawyer, a performer on stage. Eventually I became a journalist. I did my degree, I found my dream job and I had this plan and I was sticking to it. But then you burst into my life, sweet boy. My boy, Bill. I wasn't expecting you. I knew I wanted to be a mother, but you decided when. You were born on the 12th of June, 2012, at 12.22. You were eight pounds, six ounces, dark-haired and blue-eyed. I was 24 years old, dark-haired and wide-eyed. And I was a mother. Our road to being a family wasn't easy. Your father and I split when you were small, and I spent a long time riddled with guilt. I wanted you to have the family that I had had as a little girl, and instead it was just me and you. I don't know what I did in life to deserve what happened next, but when you were small, Mark walked into our lives, and little by little we became a family. He moved in on the 1st of November 2014, and we were Mama, Mark and Bill from that day forward. In time, we decided that we'd like to give you a brother or sister, a sibling, someone to grow up with like we'd had. And so we tried, and we were blessed quicker than we'd imagined, with a line on a test, a baby on the way. Miss everybody, a family growing! And when we found out that she was a little girl, I felt like life could not possibly get any better than this. This little baby is... On the 21st of April 2016, I went into labour and I said goodbye to you, my little boy, and felt so sad for what I felt like I was losing. And at 4.46 in the morning, I found myself holding my daughter in my arms. Daisy and Nell Taylor. We didn't know what was going to follow. We didn't know that we'd have to hand you over to angels in white and blue and watch you struggle inside a plastic box. My heart broke because all I wanted to do was hold my daughter and instead I loved you from afar. When you were six weeks and one day old we were finally able to bring you home. We were a family and while things were tough for a while and while we watched you fight and struggle, we also watched you grow and triumph. Our tiny little fighter, our amazing little girl. That year, as a family of four, was a beautiful mess, full of ups and downs. Your brother started school, you lost your tubes and you showed us how brilliant you were. We had our first Christmas as a family of four. We went away and made memories in a place of magic and she turned one. Since then, life has been everything you'd expect with two children. You are brilliant together, you're inseparable and perfectly paired. And just as my guilt was beginning to fade, and I was finding peace with the syndrome I had passed on to you, I started to feel different. But I took a while to take a test because I was frightened too. This wasn't supposed to happen yet. But I didn't need to look at a test to know that you were on the way. Our final piece of the puzzle, the third baby we planned for, admittedly later down the line, and yet, like your brother, you seemed certain that you knew best. Our final baby, due on the 13th of March 2018. Weeks have passed. We have announced, we have celebrated, we have counted down the days. And today we found out who you were. A little boy or a little girl. But let's just say that I already knew. I knew it was a boy! <laughs> yeah, that's We're having a little boy <laughs> and I can't wait to meet him.